Okay, hello everyone. So today we're going to be discussing what you call quadratic systems. Okay, so when you say quadratic systems, these are systems of equations that involve uh, quadratic equations. Okay, so let's have a simple example first of a quadratic system. So a quadratic system is a combination of quadratic an equation quadratic equation or quadratic function with a linear equation okay so when if it's a quadratic and a linear equation graphically you're talking about two things how does a parabola okay intersect with a line right okay so again, there are again possible solutions for this. So combination of a parabola would be a line would be first. It could be that there is no solution for each. So they don't intersect, which means no solution. Okay, or there could be one solution. They intersect at exactly one point, just like this. Or the parabola and the line intersect at two points, just like this, okay? So two points, which means two solutions, okay? So for this case, we're going to study, I'm going to solve, okay, equations that combine linear equations with quadratic equations, and then Let's find a particular solution. Okay. Let's have an example. Okay. So, for example, okay, is, okay, is 10, negative 15, okay, a solution for the system y equals x squared minus 7x minus 45, okay? And y equals negative x minus 5. Okay, so if this is true or false. Okay, so in order for us to determine whether this one is a solution or not, so what we're going to do is basically substitute. Again, this is my x and this is my y. All I got to do is plug in x and y, and if it works for both equations, then the answer is true. Okay, so in this case, let's determine for the first one. Using the first one, okay, so is that negative 15 equal to x is 10, so that's going to be 10 squared minus 7 times 10 minus 45, okay? So is negative 15 equal to 10 squared is 100, 7 times 10 is negative 70 minus 45. Okay, so if I simplify that, I have now here negative 15, okay? That's going to be 100 minus negative 115, and just negative 15 over equals negative 15. So it works for the first one. Does it work for the second one? So going to the second one, negative 15, which is your y, okay? equals negative of my x is negative 10 minus 5. So in this case, negative 15 also works with negative 15. Okay, so as you can see, this worked, which means the answer is true. Okay, it's a solution. Okay. Can everybody follow so far? Okay, is this clear? Okay. Okay, let's have another one. So suppose you have another one is, okay, is negative 2, 7, a solution, okay, for the equation y equals x squared minus 3x minus 3. And y equals x plus 9. So all you got to do is just simply 
plug the values, okay? You're going to assign this as x, and this one would be what? Y, okay? So all you got to do is just simply substitute. So if we substitute it on the first or the second one from here, so y is 7 equals negative 2 plus 9, so therefore 7 equals what? 7, okay? Notice, okay? So from here, it works. Okay, now let's substitute it on the other one. Okay, so this is just going to be 7 equals, that's going to be negative 2 squared minus 3 times negative 2 minus 3. So this is going to be 7 and this is going to be 4. So 2 times 6, uh, 3 times a negative 3 times 2 is positive 6 minus 3. Okay, so 6 plus 4 is 10. 10 minus 3 is? Seven. So seven equals seven. So the answer is also one. True. Okay. There so far. Okay. Now this is just simply giving you the solution already. Okay. And then just have to simply check. Okay. So what we're gonna do now is to actually have to solve a system algebraically. Okay. So let's say for example. Okay. Let's have another paper. Okay. Now, we're going to determine what the sum would be. Okay, say, for example, solve the system. Okay, solve the system. Okay, now I'm seeing it. Okay, so solve the system y equals x squared plus 12x plus 13. Okay, and the other one is y equals 3x plus Okay, so to solve this, you're going to use substitution. Now, this one, okay, is equal to what? Y, right? So I can sub uh, substitution. So I can substitute this to the Y right there, right? So if you notice, okay, so this turns out to be 3X plus 5 equals X squared plus 12X plus 13. Okay, because you know that this one, 3x plus 5, is equal to what? Y. So everything now is in equal to what? X. Okay, and then you're going to solve the equation. Okay, set, which means this come up uh, as an equation, quadratic equation. Set one of the uh, sides equal to 0. So which means if I want this to become 0, I have to subtract 3x and I have to subtract 5, right? Then I have to subtract 3x and I have to subtract what? 5. So if I'm going to do that, okay, this turns out to be what? Zero, okay? So it's going to be x squared. 12x minus 3x is 9x. And then what? 3 minus 5, that gives me negative 2, okay? Oh, 13, I'm sorry. It's 13, so it's going to be 13 minus 5, that gives me 8, okay? There you go. I'm sorry, I said copy 13, it's supposed to be 13 right there, okay? So this one, I can factor this one out, okay? So this one would now be, give me factors of 8, negative 8, whose sum is uh, 9, okay? So that's going to be, okay, so positive 8, I'm sorry, again, because 13 minus 5 is 8. So it's going to be x plus 1 and x plus 8, okay? So which means my x values are negative 1 and my x value is negative 8, okay? So we need a coordinate, right? So to get y, all I got to do is substitute y to this equation because this is equation equal to y. So that's going to be 3 times negative 1 plus 5 which is actually what? Negative 3 plus 5, therefore y equals to 2, okay? So which means they go together. So which means my first one is negative 1 and positive 2, okay? And then the other one would be substitute this one, negative 8, to the equation y equals 3x plus 5, okay? So it's just going to be 
y equals 3 times negative 8, okay, plus 5. And that's going to give me negative 24 plus 5, and that gives me y equals negative 19. So this one and this one, which means the other one is negative 8 and negative 19, okay? So there are your two answers, okay? Can everybody follow so far? Okay. Okay, giving you time to copy before I move on to the next example or the last example actually. Okay. Any more questions? You post it on uh, Schoology. Okay. Okay, let's go on to the next and the last example. Okay. So suppose you have now solved the system. So you're going to solve the system y equals negative 3x squared plus 8x plus 22, okay? And then 2 equals 2x minus 5, okay? Now, in order for you to solve this, you need to express y in terms of x, okay? So which means you know that this whole thing, okay, this whole thing, is equal to y so i can plug it in here right you can do that or you can change this to y equals okay into y equals 2x minus 2 okay and then substitute that from there now, if you want to do this okay that's what i said i can put negative y up to the other side becomes positive y and then i put 2 to the other side it becomes negative 2 so it's going to be 2x minus 2 right and then I'll substitute this in the y up there, right? So what I'm going to have now is 2x minus 2 equals negative 3x squared plus 8x plus 22, okay? And then we need one side to be 0, okay? So to be 0, I have to subtract 2x and add 2 because it's negative up there. So minus 2x and then plus 2. Right? Okay? So if I'm going to do that, this thing is going to, the right side is going to be 0. So it's going to be negative 3x, where 8x minus 2x is positive 6x, and 22 plus 2 is 24. Okay? Now everything is divisible by negative 3. So if I take out negative 3, okay, so it's negative 3, it's going to be x squared. Minus 2x, because it's negative times negative, it becomes positive 6x. And this would be minus what? 8. Because negative 3 times negative 8 is positive 24. Okay? So this leaves us to factoring it out as. Give me factors of uh, 8. That gives me negative 2. So that's going to be x and x here. Okay? And this is going to be negative 4 and positive 2. Okay, which means my x values are x minus 4, or x equal to 4, that's 1, and the other one would be what? x equals negative 2. Okay, now all we got to do is to sub solve for y, so we're going to use this to solve for y, so y would now be 2 times 4 minus 2, because it's x minus 2 over there. So that's going to be y equals 2 times 4 is 8. 8 minus 2 is 6. Okay? So the first equation is 4, 6. While the other one would be 2 times negative 2 minus 2. That gives me what? Negative 4 minus 2. Negative 4 minus 2. That gives me negative 6. So which means the other equation, the other coordinate is negative 2 and negative 6. Okay, so again, we have two solutions, this and this, okay? Do you have any questions? I'm going to post this so that you can use to follow Y tomorrow, okay?